welcome to what is not the part 3 video about my homemade pulse jet. It's more a part 2A. In part 2 I said I wasn't going to continue attempting to run my homemade pulse jet on my homemade acetylene. So I thought it was too dangerous but that was kind of like throwing down the gauntlet to myself. So I had to persist with that challenge and did I manage to get it to run on my homemade acetylene? Well, yes I did. <laughs> see it was only really idling on it, I couldn't get enough pressure and enough flow of the gas to get it to run harder than that, but I did get it to run, it ran very clean as well, and this is how I did it. The first thing I did was I took a bucket, and then I got another bucket, which I cut down a bit so that it would fit inside. The first bucket, I put a, a brass union there to connect the pipe to it. Then what happens, the bucket gets filled with water to two or three inches below the top. You chuck in a lump of calcium carbide, which immediately starts bubbling producing acetylene gas. You put the top bucket in, push it down until all the air comes out. Right down. the water comes out and then any gas that's coming out is acetylene and there's no air in it. I then connect my hose which I'll tighten up properly. So it's now producing acetylene gas in here. This will rise up as it does so. Then goes through my gravel flashback arrestor, which actually works because I've tested it. And then the other hose feeds into the pulse jet. Then it needs some weight to give it a little bit of pressure. The main precautions you have to take is to make sure there's no air in it and that you purge it through so, yeah, I can smell acetylene coming out of that. So, now that I've purged it of all the air, this should be safe to run. So I'll just test it. Then that hose end is simply connected to the pulse chip. I initially tried running it as I had done before by idling it on these small cylinders of gas and then I was going to introduce the acetylene to a running engine so there was no chance of an explosion or a backflash or anything like that. But I couldn't get it to start at all. So I thought perhaps my little cylinders were getting a bit low so well, I'll try it on the map gas again. So I swapped over to the map gas with the idea of idling it on that. But again, couldn't get it to start for some reason. The only thing I could think of was the hose connection or the hose and the back the flashback arrestor were somehow causing problems with the pulses or I don't know but I just could not get it to start so I decided to try it just on the acetylene and it went all right yeah I just couldn't get it ramped up very hard that was all I also discovered it makes quite a good gas gun for scaling birds if you let just a little bit of acetylene in and then light it with the blowtorch I never bothered trying my that plug ignition, I've tried it before, it does work on acetylene, but just for quickness, I tried it with a blue torch. So, part three will be the liquid fuels. So, if you'd like to see that, please like and subscribe and come back to see part three.